a baffling and beautiful rescue, raising questions about the power of prayer. People are scouring nearly 70 photographs looking for some sign of a man they swear they saw at the scene of a car accident. He prayed a life was saved. So why did he disappear even from the photos? ABC's David Muir now on Faith and a Mystery Tonight. Tonight it's being called the Missouri Miracle. Much of it, though, still a mystery. A teenager with a beautiful smile, 19-year-old Katie Lentz, trapped in her mangled car, hit by a drunk driver, and first responders trying to get her out. Sheriff's Deputy Richard Adair won't forget when the fire chief turned to him in despair. He was concerned because he was out of options. The tools weren't working, and uh, it was, by that time, I, I said almost an hour, he said, I don't know how we're going to get her out. And I said, Raymond, we, I promised her mother and her that we get her out. While inside that car, Katie had one request, to pray with the rescuers out loud. And then suddenly right there amidst the rows of corn at the scene blocked off for nearly a mile, a man appears. He was dressed in a black priest shirt with a white collar. And the rescuers notice something else. He was carrying a small bottle. He had a small little white container of anointment oil is what it appeared to be. And he asked if he could anoint um, the girl in the car. And at first, my first thought was that it would possibly send the wrong message to Katie, that maybe we had called a priest. But they allow him to do it. A sense of, of calmness come over her then, even more so than what she had been already. I can't be for certain who said or how it was said or where it come from. We very plainly heard that, that we should remain calm, that uh, our tools would, would now work, and that we would get her out of that vehicle. Moments later, it happened. A neighboring fire department arrives with a new set of stronger tools, finally able to cut through that frame. They all turned to thank the priest, but he was gone. In fact, in all of those photos at the scene, no sign of the priest. And tonight, family and friends are grateful. Whether it was just a, a, a priest as an angel, serving as an angel, or an actual angel that came in, he was an angel to, to all those and to Katie. The fire department's Facebook page tonight filling up fast. Do any of the responders know who the priest was that seemingly appeared out of nowhere? I would love to shake his hand. And tonight from Katie's mother, a message too. Very pleased that Katie's near tragic accident provides proof to all that miracles still happen. Her mother adding, please continue to pray for her. And in Katie's words, pray out loud. Pray out loud. And today we reached out to 15 churches within 30 miles of that accident scene. No one could tell us who the man was. And as for Katie, six and a half hours of surgery, many broken bones, but her mother says her face and that beautiful smile untouched. But Diane, everyone at that rescue scene touched by that stranger. And dozens of people saw him and yet nothing in the photographs. Nothing. Just the story of that white bottle. What an amazing story. Thank you, David.